Hey guys, and welcome to the Ideal Challenge. So that, that song in the beginning was called Welcome Home, Son, and it's by a great uh, band called Radical Face. And I couldn't help but play that because welcome home. Welcome the fuck home to who you truly are. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this today. Um, oh my gosh, we're just gonna have so much fun, but let's just get started. Let's just go into it. So this whole week is the ideal challenge. And what is the ideal? The ideal is that version of you you dream about. Is it you know a, a superhero who can do amazing, powerful things? Guys, you are unlimited in who you can be. You truly are. Do you want to be fabulous, crazy rich? Do you want to be an unbelievably successful business person? Do you, uh, maybe you are a millionaire and you want to be a billionaire. Uh, do you want to be thin? I mean, you just want to be thin. There, it, it's, it's unlimited where we can go. And what we're going to do this week is what I do with my clients, which is we figure out what your ideal is and we jump you cannonball right into it. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so excited. This is the subject that brings me alive. Step, getting you to step into your unlimited, your powerful, powerful self is where I'm at my happiest. Each day, so today is Wednesday, each day, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday, and then next Tuesday will be the final day and we're going to have a live Zoom meeting on it. But each day is going to build on the, the past. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate. The comments section below. One of the things I am going to really ask you to step up and start doing is comment comment below. Trust me, if you have a question, so does somebody else. And somebody's got to grow the pair of balls and put it in the comments below. The other thing I'm going to start asking of you guys, and I'm going to do it too, is to put your ideal down below. One of the things about moving into your ideal is you need to become that person. So are you a law of attraction or a law of assumption or, but for some reason, your manifestations aren't, aren't coming to fruition, your dreams, your desires. And so you constantly seek out, okay, what is it I'm doing wrong? What is that I'm doing wrong? And hence you keep bringing to you more and more proof that you're doing something wrong. And I am here to start right now. You have done nothing wrong. That is why you're here at the Ideal Challenge for free. <laughs> so I want you to take a look at both of these. One is I am aligned as fuck. The other is I am aligned or just aligned as fuck. And I want you to look at all the little things written around it. One says money pours into my life daily. Well, let's up that. How about money pours into my life hourly? Woo. How about minutely? Um, I got the career, I got the house, I got the money. Everything is always working out for me perfectly. Life has always got my back. Life loves me, money loves me. I adore life and money. I have more money than I can spend. I make a wild income doing what I love. So these are all parts of the ideal, okay? These are all parts of who you are, the part of you that's knocking on the door constantly and saying, let's just do this. Let's be this. Now, before we step into all of this, I do want you to think about something. You raise the sun every day. You do. You, you, you <laughs> look in the mirror, you. 
And how hard do you think about it? How much effort do you put into raising the sun? Not a damn thing, right? Okay, so this is something I call that the sunrise mindset. This is something I want you to every once in a while come back to. That's the kind of effort we're going to be putting into this. Not a damn thing. We're just going to relax. In fact, right now, I want you to relax. I want you to chill knowing that your ideal self, let's say you want to be a millionaire, okay? There's a lot of things you might do to try to become a millionaire. But if you were already that millionaire, would you be doing any of those things? Let's say you, um, somebody has told you, okay, I want you to meditate every day and you're going to say this sentence and you're going to do these things. Now, if you were already a millionaire, would you do any of that? Chances are not, okay? But a millionaire, probably if you're not a billionaire, and if you are a millionaire, then, then excuse me, I meant millionaire. But if you are a millionaire, then I want you to go into being a billionaire. I want you to think, how does that version of you, your ideal self, think differently than you do? Okay. Now we're going to, I'm going to give you like a little homework thing here at the end, but it's going to be fun and it's going to be amazing. And it's just going to, everything we do is about fun, guys. It's always about fun, fun, fun. Okay. Now, if any of you want to take a screenshot of this, or you'd like me to send you um a copy of one of these things go for it you know just in the comments below give me your email and i'll do it or email me and i'll send these to you okay these are my own creations and i love them i use them um i just use them to help me be you know just help me be and one thing i'm very aware of is that if i was already in my ideal self would I be using these things? Maybe not, but this is how I would think in my mind. And this is a reminder of how I would think. Just remind myself constantly. I'm never going to say, oh, I want to be a millionaire if I am a millionaire. It's silly, right? Okay. So I am. This sentence is probably the most powerful place you can go to when we're stepping into your ideal. I am. Okay. Now, below this sentence is unstoppable courage and inner power. Now, those are very nice general terms, but I don't want you to go general. I want you to go specific as fuck. And guys, <laughs> All right, so you guys are listening. You guys know Kristen Clark, but you're listening to Kristen motherfucking Clark. She is my ideal and she loves to cuss because there's so much power within that. When I say, you know, oh, this is good versus, or I say, you know, you are powerful as fuck, or I say, you're extremely powerful. Which one feels better? Which one feels more like a statement? Which one can you get behind more? For me, it's the cussing. And that's as far as I'm going to go into my explanation. So I am here you are, or <laughs> if you're a man, that's not you, or maybe it is. Who knows? Maybe you're this cool little dude, whoever the heck that is. I don't know what that is, but hey, I like it. So I am, what are we going to put behind I am for you? I am powerful. I am joyful. I am unlimited as fuck. I am confident. I am colossally confident as fuck. Okay. There's all these things that you're going to say behind I am. And I want you to start doing that now. Now, for this next week, guys, you are going to step into this version of you and you are going to live your life from this version of you. This is the challenge. Now, I'm, I'm, trust me, I know you probably have some questions, but just relax. I'm going to get everything explained. Just, just enjoy. Just 
be here and I want you to know, number one, you brought this to you. This is an answer to a current prayer, desire, request that you have had. And for some reason, you weren't hearing your internal guidance. So it's piggybacking in on me and coming to you now. You are that amazing. You do this all the time. You had an impulse to check on this video. Trust that impulse. That is your ideal self going, yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's step this up. All right. Now, the sentences in white, those are your overarching umbrella states. Okay. Now, underneath these overarching umbrella states, are substates. Now, I'm using words from a friend of mine who is a fabulous coach and a, a, a unbelievable mentor, and her name is Candace Thought. And if you want to know more about her, let me know, and I'm happy, happy, happy to forward her information. But the coolest thing is you already knew this, okay? Once again, if I bring to me so let's say you're watch, you're reading this and you're going, oh, wow, that's awesome. I'm going to start using that in my coaching. And then you start feeling a little bit maybe guilty about plagiarism or something. Guys, no, try to remember this is you piggybacking on me, bringing this to you. So this is why I have no qualms about using something that my mentor has used with me because I know it's always me. It's always me. And we're going to go more into that particular situation, but I don't want to overwhelm you. So first thing I want you to do is look at the, the words in white. So of course, the very top one is Chris and motherfucking Clark. There she is. Badass bitch. Confident as fuck unbelievable woman who can have anything she wants now let's go down the next one the woman who has it all now for me that means a lot and we're going to go more into that later but right now let's just go with this i uh chris and motherfucking clark also has a wild income doing what she loves unbelievably what she loves Every day is full of surprises, wow, ease, and fun. And again, remember, these are overarching umbrella states. When I say state, I mean state of being, state of mind, all right? She's a self-made motherfucking millionaire billionaire, verging on billionaire. It's interesting. I've always wanted to be a millionaire. And then all of a sudden, as soon as I stepped into um, this version of me, the state of me, Millionaire was not enough. Millionaire is now pushing billionaire. And it's very interesting because a lot of times this happens, guys, before you start seeing physical evidence of this overarching umbrella state, you're already shifting internally. You've already shifted inside. You're, you got up against your edge and you went beyond it in your mind, in, in your states. You, you aren't tolerating being anything less inside. And this happens a lot and it's very exciting. But once again, you are this person all day long. When you're hanging out with your friends and they're like, how are you doing? You're, you know, let's say you just got a flat tire or something. No, don't you dare talk about that. You're only going to talk about it from the version of you that never, ever gets flat tires, that never, ever has a bad day, never has a bad day. And yes, my loves, this is 100% possible. And I am speaking from 100% experience. Okay, next one. Hugely successful businesswoman. Kristen, Kristen motherfucking Clark is an unbelievably hugely successful businesswoman. Okay. Now there's all sorts of little words in there that are colored, pretty little colors. These are the sub states. Now you don't have to worry about, oh, what's a what's a overarching umbrella state? What's a sub state? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that because once again, do you think this version of you is worried about that? No, I'm just helping to clarify things a little bit. But again, don't take it all so seriously. Let it be a space of fun, a space of play. 
okay? And so there's all these great little words here, like deeply fulfilled and head over heels in love. In love with what? In love with life, in love with money, in love with my body, in love with myself, in love with this person over here, whatever you choose, all right? I'm hugely celebrated, adored, confident as fuck, alive, full of life, vibrant, joyful, happy, 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 empowered, bold as fuck, rich as fuck. You know, you, you can do this, you know, do it with a pen, with a pen, do it. You know, if you're good, like I am with, with apps and stuff, do it this way. Now in the background of all of those words is what? It is a beautiful picture of a stage with a huge auditorium full of people. And these people are all here to see this person who's going to step out on this stage, right? They're all eager. They all paid money to be here. They're so excited to be here. And that is Kristen motherfucking Clark standing on that stage this is what i do this is what i love to do this is what makes me come alive is to be on a stage talking with people like this but these people are already so excited and so already moved in their ideal states right they are already totally tapped in to such an, an empowered version of them that they're not asking questions on how do I do this because they already know how to do it. They're just there to be around like-minded souls and having a blast. And this is who Chris and motherfucking Clark is. This is what I do. When I work with you in a one-on-one -on -one state, I never see you as somebody who's broken and must be fixed somebody who is thinking wrong or thinking in a disempowered state no you don't do that you wouldn't be interacting with me if you did because that's not the kind of people i interact with i interact with people who are already hugely empowered who are visionaries who are idealists who are so stepped in that they are already hugely in their godhood those are the kind of people I interact with. People who are not playing mediocre, who don't even go anywhere near mediocre. And this is you. Now you may not believe this. I don't know why, but for some reason, maybe you kind of doubt that and that's okay because this whole next week, we're leaving that version of you in the dust and you are stepping in to the version of you that is confident as fuck, that is bold as fuck that is vibrant, that is full of life, that is deeply fulfilled. Every Can you imagine? Imagine it. Every moment of your day being deeply fulfilled. Can you imagine every, every hour, thousands of dollars pour into your bank accounts? And for you, that's a, that's a low day, all right? All these versions of you are calling you, all right? Now, big difference between viewing it versus being in it. So here's a little quote from Abraham Hicks. And it says, if you want it and expect it, it will be yours. Now I have issues with this because it says, if you want it and expect it, well, if you're in an, in a space of waiting around to be a million fucking air, keep waiting. Because if you're sitting around wanting it, then that means you're not it, right? And that's viewing. You're viewing yourself being a millionaire because you're not it yet. Because if you were already a millionaire, then you wouldn't be viewing yourself as a millionaire. You'd be it. And this is the difference. So whenever I see these little memes where somebody is talking in a, in a, a space of not being it yet. I want you to talk from a space of first person. You are it. This saying, it will be yours very soon. Guys, that, that you can't get there from there. This, it will be yours is a space unto itself and you will perpetuate, it will be, it will be. And you're sitting here going, well, when? Well, you're the one that's saying it will be. You can't get to it from it will be. You have to say it is, 
it is mine. I am already that person. So there's a big difference between looking at your ideal from the outside. It feels difficult. Okay. And uh, these are some of the ways you'll know you're doing that. It feels difficult. You're sitting here going, I don't, I, I don't think I can do that. I don't know how to do it. I'm not going to do that right now. I'll do that later. That is looking at it from the outside. Okay. And that is playing small. When you're sitting here going, I don't, I don't understand what she's talking about. Why isn't it here yet? Okay. That's playing small. And you've been playing that already. And this version that's talking to you right here, right now, Chris and motherfucking Clark doesn't play there. That's, that's mediocre. That's a very, very big, busy place. I'm asking you to step out of that. Now, let's say in your mind, you're thinking, oh, well, when I, I was raised to think this way, stop, stop those stories. We're not telling those stories anymore. So let's say you grew up being bullied. You're not going to tell that story anymore. You're going to shift that story to, I grew up having so many friends and being so adored and appreciated and loved. I had the best time. I had the best friends. You're going to start changing those stories from the I am space. I am. I am. Thinking. Feeling. Living from that identity at all times, guys. I mean, all day long. So what's going to happen is I want you to start becoming aware of your inner conversations because that's ground zero. That's ground zero for your reality. If your reality has pollution, it's because your inner conversations support that. If your reality has a rough childhood where you were abandoned or whatever words of victimization we can come up with, that's because your inner conversations support that. So the first thing first is start becoming aware. Let's say you catch yourself and you're going, oh God, I'm day three into the challenge and I'm still blowing it. No, you're not. The very fact that you're aware and you caught yourself blowing it, quote unquote, is huge. That's enormous. Pat yourself on the back and go, oh, wow, that's a huge shift. Because I guarantee you, coming into this, you weren't catching it. But you're going to be catching it now. In fact, that's something I want you to say right now out loud. I am always powerfully thinking from the state of my ideal. Just say that. I am always powerfully thinking from the state of my ideal. Every conversation I have, whether it's inside or outside, is empowered, is joyful, is vibrant, and is alive. And I'm going to talk in a bit about what alive means. All right, so back to viewing it versus being in it. Whenever you have any conversation, inner conversation or outer conversation, or you see a meme or something that says very soon, like this one, it will be yours very soon. That means it's not here and you can't get there from, you can't get to hear from it's coming. You can't, they're two different worlds. So anytime it says it's coming, uh, it's very soon. If you expect it, you, it's going to be here soon or anything like that. That's not you anymore. Now, that may have been you before this video started. And that's so awesome because that version of you got you to this version. And great. That's wonderful. But that's not who you are anymore. You are the I am. You are the I have. Very soon, and I have don't mix. That's like oil and water. So don't mix them anymore. And if you catch yourself mixing, revise, revise that you, when you catch yourself screwing up, just revise. In fact, what I highly recommend is at night, when you go to bed, revise your day 
to be, and maybe it was a great day. Maybe it was a hugely fulfilling day. That's okay. Revise it to be even more fulfilling, even more awesome. Let's say you, you, you know, you got the news from your boss that you are going to get um, a huge bonus that is three times what you make in a year completely. That's great. But that night, why don't you revise it? That is four times. You always can go better, guys. You can always go bigger. Always. So you're living your dream life now, right? And again, I'm going to help you determine what is your dream life? What is your ideal self? But I know you've already got an idea. Now, every time you're interacting with you or anybody in your reality, I want, you to ask, I want you to ask yourself, whose eyes are you looking through? If you are one of these people that feels like you need to watch the news, turn it the fuck off for the next week. If you're serious about this, turn it off. Because I guarantee you, if you are living your dream life, if you are living your ideal life, you don't have a care in the world about what the hell is going on there. I promise. One week try it for one week and I guarantee you probably will never go back but anyway whose eyes are you looking through are you looking through the eyes of a victim and somebody who has absolutely no control of their reality or are you looking through the eyes of the person who has 100 percent confident as fuck control of their reality the other thing is this I want you to imagine that this is you walking on this branch, this tree, okay? You are this balanced, you are this thin, you are this confident, you are having this much fun. Now, are you looking at yourself on that tree or are you looking through the eyes of yourself on the tree? Does that make sense? Are you seeing, looking down and seeing your feet and seeing where you're going to take your next step? And in the periphery, you can see the ocean and the sand around you. Or are you viewing it, viewing yourself? See, that's not first person. First person is looking through the eyes of the person who is on that tree. I want you always in the first person. Okay, so here we are with that, that scene again. And I want you to pretend you are on that stage, confident and happy and addressing this crowd. So the first person would be looking through the eyeballs, hearing from the ears of you on that stage. And I want you to close your eyes right now and do that. Look out at all these people. Hear what it sounds like with all these people. Feel. Is your heart beating? You're feeling a little sweaty? Maybe a little nervous? Maybe a little excited? But look at these people. Now look at the people in the front row. Don't open your eyes. Look at the people in the front row looking up at you. Smile at them. And I want you to see some people you know in that front row. And I want you to wave at them. experience that. Take a moment. And now I want you to open your eyes. And I want you to, from this perspective, up, up here on the left side of the stage, or right side, depending on which way you're looking, I want you to see yourself standing on that stage, looking out at those people. Okay. That's a third person view. And that is not what you're ever going to do. From the ideal state, I want you to start looking from the first person view of your ideal state. Is it somebody, is it, is it somebody who has it all? Is it the hugely successful business owner? Look at your world from that. And again, we're going to go a little bit more into that in a minute. 
But guys, this is what has been keeping your ideal from you. This is why your manifestations are few and far between. This is why there's this lag time and it's never as exciting as you want it to be. You know, maybe you want a million dollars, but you won the lottery for 56,000. And you're like, oh, well, that's awesome. That's a start. No, there's no start. We leapfrog over the, that whole bullshit and we go straight into the shoes of the millionaire. We are not looking from our shoes at ourselves as a millionaire. No, 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 no. You are in those millionaire shoes, walking through your millionaire house going through your millionaire kitchen, sitting down at your millionaire table, driving in your millionaire car, okay? That is the life you're going to be living these next week. This is not so much about being in your imagination as of course it is, but it's also more than that is you're going to be, if you are, if you're a person who meditates, I want you to meditate from that ideal version of you. And now, as we remember back here, there's all sorts of versions here. Just focus in on one, the self-made millionaire, billionaire, okay? Or the woman who has it all. And we're going to come back to that in a minute. All right. So what is your ideal? And I want you to take a screenshot of this. If you would like this slide, let me know. Email me and I'll send it to you. What is your ideal? And now what I want you to do is to look at each of these categories. Physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Each one of those is a category. And what is your ideal physically? Is it thin? Is it tone, naturally toned? Is it I can eat whatever I want? Okay. You got you to gotta define your objective here. What do you want and why? Be clear on why. And, and, and you know, no holds bar here, guys. You don't need to know how. You don't need to know how. But go into the why. So let's say physically you want to be thin as fuck and you just don't want to worry about that ever anymore. You're just naturally always thin. You can eat whatever you want. You stay beautifully thin. Well, why? Because it looks good. Because I want to tie my shoes and not be gasping for breath. Because, you know, I don't know. Go, go as big as you want. Go as silly as you want. Nobody's judging you here. And if you're hearing judgment, that's a big, big reason why you haven't made it to that spot yet. Because you are judging others who want to be skinny because they, they just want to look damn good in short shorts. They want to have beautiful legs so that men admire them. Or they want to have this big muscular, you know, biceps like Thor. Because women will go, or the rock. That's what came into my mind. Yummy. Okay. So maybe that's your ideal. Write that down. What is your ideal mentally? You know, mentally, what do you want to be? Do you want to be confident? Do you know, write it all down. Now you don't have to write down the why, but you might want to ask yourself why. And again, be clear, define your objective. It's very important. But it's also very important that you leave out the how because the how is none of your fucking business. It's all going to happen on its own. You don't need to worry about the how. All right. Emotionally. Do you feel like you're, you know, you act like a victim and you're always depressed and you always have emotionally, you just can't get a hold of your emotions because one day you're high as a kite and the next day you're down deep in the rocks. Okay. So what's your ideal emotionally? And then what's your ideal spiritually? And if any of these, you're kind of like going, I don't know. Okay, then go on to the next one. Come back. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Because again, if you were in your ideal, if you were your ideal, you wouldn't be worrying about any of this. <laughs> so just chill. Don't be, don't get it. Don't, don't make it too big a deal. So now career-wise, what is your ideal? What is the job 
you've always want, and I don't want to say job, what is your career that you've always wanted to be? You know, a stay-at-home mom, stay-at-home dad, um, a billionaire who doesn't have to work, you know, what, what is your ideal career? And I don't care what's going on in your mind, define it and, and say, why? Why do you want that career? Me, I want to be up on that stage because I love all that adoration. Kristen motherfucking Clark loves being admired, loves being adored. Does that sound narcissistic? Good. <laughs> Guys, nar- the de- definition of narcissism is an exuberant amount, an exorbitant amount of self-love. And how the hell is that a bad thing? If somebody's going to love you that much, it has got to be you. And that's a whole nother video, but we won't talk about that right now. So what's your ideal with money? I mean, come on, who doesn't love money? Who doesn't love lots and lots and lots and lots of money? What's your ideal relationships? Now, this can be love, but this can also be the relationship you have with your dentist, your doctor, your government. Okay, what's your ideal relationships? Go crazy, go wild. There is no such thing as fantasy, guys. You are God of this reality. And God is omnipresent, which means you are within everything. So there is no such thing as reality and fantasy. There's only you. And if you keep playing that separation between fantasy and reality, well, how's that working out for you? Your manifestations coming around? No. So we are going to be working on this this whole week. We're going to get through all those limitations, limiting thoughts and ideas and all of that. And by the time this week is over, you will not recognize yourself. Ooh. How does that feel? A little scary? Well, there's another great big reason why things are being held away from you. Because you have to be willing to see the version of you that is playing small, die. In fact, I highly recommend start digging that grave now. That version of you, bye-bye. It's been fun. Thanks for getting me to this point. But now I'm taking off into the stratosphere. I am getting so big that once again, I will not recognize myself. So once again, when I say, what is your ideal? That's where we're going. So family, what is your ideal family? So let's say you you grew up in a very broken home. Okay, Let's, let's revise that motherfucker. I grew up in a fantastic home. So let's say your, your parents were divorced. Do you want them to stay divorced? Or would you, would you like a completely different family? Guys, you are the offer and power here. Create whatever you want. If you can't see your mom and dad getting together and being married and being happy and being joyful your whole childhood, then create a parents who could be and who would be. But again, don't try so hard. See what happens when you just kind of let it fill in on its own with, with, with the gentleness of knowing. Remember the sun rising? Okay, kind of relax with this, all right? Anything else? What is your ideal in anything else that I haven't put in here? Anything else popping up for you? Now, we've got to live in the consciousness of your ideal. Now, guys, I know you're just watching this, but it is really important. Part of the reason I said take a screenshot of this or, you know, email me and I can send you the slide um, is because I really want you to write this out. I want you to take the time. There's no way you can live in the consciousness of if your ideal, if you don't know who your ideal is, or if you just kind of, I think I know. All right, then, then, then enjoy who you, you are. Because in order for you to step into your ideal, consciousness, your ideal state, you have to stop being 
who you've been up to this point. And maybe who you've been up to this point has been unbelievably amazing. Yes, that's fine. But you can go bigger. You can go so, so much bigger. So how is this person different from your current reality? Okay. Does this person have an easier life? Is this person a little more chill? Is this person more confident? You've seen that word coming in on this a lot. But I also want you to look at this meme. It says it doesn't have to take time. So maybe the person you've been up to this point believes it has to take time. It takes time for manifestations. And even you, cre- you, you bring to you memes from channeled, gu- channeled beings who support that. Okay, that's fine. But the operant power that you are, your ideal says, uh, no, it doesn't have to take time. And it doesn't have to be hard. I don't have to do hours and hours of meditation. I don't have to jump through hoops and perform hacks in order to get what I want because what I want comes as naturally and as easily as the sun rising every fucking day. So what we are doing these next, this next week with this free challenge, guys, We are challenging you to free yourself of every limiting belief you've been playing with up till now. There are no limitations other than what you assume to be correct. And even the people who play in law of assumption, I still catch them playing with assumptions. And I catch myself doing it still, but that's that awareness that I was saying before that if you catch yourself and you're aware of it, pat yourself on the back and go, good, damn good job. Look what I did. I caught myself. I caught myself doing it. Woohoo. I'm that awesome. All right. So it doesn't have to take time and it doesn't have to be hard. Free yourself from the limiting beliefs. And the hardest thing I'm going to ask you to do is this right here. Write it down. What's your ideal physically? Who are you in your ideal when you're mentally? Emotionally. And if you're not sure, again, just bypass it. It'll come around. It'll come up. Trust me, it will come up. What's your ideal career? What's your ideal with money, relationships, family, and anything else you can come up with? Now, tomorrow, we're going to go a little deeper into this. But by tomorrow, I want you to have a very clear idea of what this is. Now, I am going to fill out my ideals of Kristen motherfucking Clark in the comments below. So you're going to get an idea. Uh, You can even use mine if that feels good for now. That's fine. But I want to see you write yours down. Nobody is going to judge you. Now, if you're feeling like I can't do it, I can't, I can't do it. Comments where other people are going to see me, then email it to me. I don't care, but do it. Honor your ideal self by doing it. Now, once again, guys, if you put it in the comments, that's going to give others the permission to step up and do it as well. And your ideal self is so proud of who he or she is that they have no problem bragging as fuck in the comments. Hell yes, I have the career of my dreams and this is what I do. And I just explained part of that to you guys. All right. So once again, you have any questions, I'm always available. Don't hesitate to write anything. Anything that feels good, that feels exciting, that feels fun, or that feels like a question down in the comments. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Woohoo! Love y'all.